So what would be next, John? Well, I'd recommend cleaning the bypass valve. Okay. So how and would we do that? Simply, you just remove the four mounting bolts. Okay, Mike, prior to removing the last bolt, you want to keep your hand okay. on the... Uh, so have a little resistance. Right, the because there's going to be a little spring pressure, potentially. Okay. So I'll put my wrench down and hold the whole thing. All right. We'll now you have to be very careful that you don't okay. drop any of these see items. The spring on the inside. Yes, I'll take that. And this is actually the valve. Right. Okay, now this is kind of heavy, so be careful that you don't drop it because it, it's it, cast iron. It, so. Yeah, it can't crack if it hits the floor. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> what you'd look for in this situation is dirt buildup on the O ring surface or on the valve plate itself. Also, if you could turn that over, Mike, there's an O-ring on the opposite side. You want to make sure this O-ring is clean and in good shape, too. Uh, at which time, you want to also inspect and clean the inside of the bore for the uh, over, or bypass valve. Okay. You want to make sure that's clean and in good shape. And also, the main O-ring or the outer O-ring inside the, the housing itself, you want to clean it and inspect it. And put it, I'd recommend putting grease on that O-ring mics for reassembly purposes. It doesn't fall out. Yeah, just so when you're holding it up, it yeah, doesn't it won't fall, fall out into the pump. <laughs> inadvertently. Yep. Okay. And then we end up with a crushed O-ring. So only a couple O-rings. There's three in Three O-rings all together, a spring, a valve plate, and then the, the cover. Okay. So it all looks pretty good. Yep. We can put it back in. We're ready to go. What? I'll slide that on there. If you want to set it down. Okay. It takes a little bit to put it on at first. You got to get it started square. I recommend doing it on a hard solid surface. Again, you want to push down on this piston and it should spring up by itself. So smooth action. Smooth action and it's working properly. Okay. The O-rings are clean. The housing is clean. Now we're going to reinstall the assembly. I recommend doing it just like this. You don't have to worry about the bolt pattern. This could be assembled in any direction. And I recommend cross tightening the bolts okay, in a so gradual. Go over here. And yep. Over here. Yep. Looks and, and then tighten up the assembly. Is there a torque spec on it or just? You just, uh, just use common sense. Okay.